Hello everyone! Today we'll take a look at the best laptops for college in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which laptop are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Acer Aspire 5 – Best Budget Option The Acer Aspire 5 is an amazing 15-inch laptop that's not very expensive and has a great performance. It's very thin and weighs less than 4 pounds. It also has a great battery life for the price. If you're looking for an inexpensive 15-inch laptop, the Aspire 5 might be the one for you. It has a 1920 by 1080 resolution display, and the IPS panel gives solid viewing angles. It has an AMD Ryzen 3 3200U dual-core processor, up to 3.5 GHz, with 4 GB of RAM and 128 GB of SSD. It also has the AMD Radeon Vega 3 mobile graphics. On the right side, it has a USB 2.0 Type-A port and a combo audio jack. On the left, it has a pair of USB 3.0 Type-A ports along with Gigabit Ethernet, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C port and an HDMI port. It has a great performance, it's amazing for multimedia and stuff like that, and you can also play some games from time to time on the Aspire 5 without a problem. The battery life of this laptop is great. It can last you up to 10 hours. It's a very good laptop overall with an amazing performance and a beautiful and simple design. Check this one out if you want an inexpensive laptop that delivers great performance and many more amazing features. Number 4. Acer Swift 3 – Best for Most People The Acer Swift 3 is a little bit different from the Acer Aspire 5, such as its design and specifications. This fully stylish laptop is finished in all-metal chassis, which gives it a professional look. Acer continued its minimalist design aesthetic with this year's Acer Swift 3, definitely taking a cue from the Apple MacBook Air. The thin, lightweight aluminium chassis should feel familiar to anyone acquainted with earlier Acer Swift 3 models. This laptop has a 14-inch Full HD IPS widescreen LED backlit display, which is smaller in size than the Aspire 5 laptop. The laptop houses the AMD Ryzen 7 4700U octa-core with Radeon graphics and runs on the Windows 10 operating system. This device is paired with 8GB of RAM to handle multitasking work. As far as thermal performance, the Swift 3 runs comfortably and never gets noticeably warm even under duress, and the laptop's fans are effective and whisper quiet while actively cooling everything. Ultrabooks have always been a bit more of a premium laptop, but the Acer Swift 3 aims at bringing a quality Ultrabook to the wider, more budget-conscious consumer. It's definitely succeeded in this respect. The compact dimensions and light weight of the Acer Swift 3 make it one of the most portable laptops out there right now, making it perfect for students running back and forth around campus or for freelance professionals on the go. Number 3. MacBook Air M1 – Best for the Money the MacBook Air is the first of two new laptops with Apple's first-of-its-kind own brand M1 processor, which makes for a giant leap in performance and battery life. From the outside, almost nothing about the M1 MacBook Air has changed since the one from April. They match in size and weight, the number of ports, microphones and speakers. The 13.3-inch screen supports the wider DCI-P3 color space, a feature hitherto reserved for the more expensive MacBook Pro. The inside of the Air is almost exactly the same as its predecessor too, apart from one very important part, the processor, or more accurately, the System on a Chip, or SOC, which combines processor, graphics, and RAM all in one package. The new M1 replaces the Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 of its predecessor. In the cheapest MacBook Air as tested, it has an 8-core processor for the CPU, a 7-core graphics processor, or GPU, with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, but an 8-core GPU option is available. The M1 has four high-performance CPU cores that handle the demanding stuff such as crunching data and editing photos, while four high-efficiency CPU cores handle lightweight tasks such as sending emails. Apple declared its M1 chip would enable all-day battery life, and the company has hit that mark. This MacBook Air really is one of the best business laptops in the market, without a doubt. Number 2. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 8th Generation 
best for business students. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, which is the definite best laptop in Lenovo's range and also one of the best in the market, delivers a unique package that's super productive, durable with long battery life, superbly designed, and so much more. This laptop is the one that'll top them all, a real delight. This is the eighth iteration from the company of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon and it is the longest running series of the company, which isn't surprising because the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon is the real deal. It has a super strong and attractive black chassis that looks perfect and it's very streamlined as a whole. It really is a nice looking laptop. In terms of productivity, this machine is packed with great performance parts, such as the 10th generation Intel i7-10510U processor up to 4.9 GHz, and it also has 16 GB RAM and 1 TB of SSD for storage, making it one of the best productivity and multitasking devices in the market. This device delivers a whopping battery life of about 10 hours of moderate to heavy use, and it can go on more with lighter use. Just excellent overall. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon comes as a super attractive package. Number 1. Google Pixelbook Go – Best Chromebook now we have the Google Pixelbook Go, which is the value-based version of the Pixelbook that I've spoken about before. And while it isn't as advanced as some of the others, it gives some excellent performance with a beautiful design, great battery life, and a great keyboard. Let's check it out. The Google Pixelbook Go is designed to be light and small, and I can comfortably say that it's extremely portable with its 0.5-inch thick body and its super light 2.3-pound weight. The Google Pixelbook Go comes in two different attractive colors, just black and not pink, both of which are very aesthetically pleasing. The frame of this beast is made of magnesium alloy with a matte texture that's paired with a rippled base to allow you to grip it better. The performance and production prowess of the Google Pixelbook Go are pretty good as well, thanks to the 8th generation Intel Core i5-8200Y processor with 8GB of RAM that makes it capable of shredding through everything you may put it through. It also has 128GB of SSD that's pretty good for its price. The Intel UHD615 graphics unit is pretty good as well, and in benchmark tests, it proved itself without any problem. Buying Guide Display The more pixels you have, the more content you can fit on the screen, and the sharper it'll look. Sadly, some budget laptops still have 1366 by 768 displays, and so do a few business laptops. But if you can afford it, we recommend paying extra for a panel that runs at 1920 by 1080 also known as Full HD or 1080p. Higher-end laptops have screens that are 2560 x 1600, 3200 x 1800, or even 3840 x 2160 or 4K, which all look sharp but consume more power, lowering your battery life. Battery Life Another aspect that's great for productivity is battery life. This is an especially important feature that you need to consider if you're a person that's out and about and needs a laptop that'll allow you to be productive on the go. All the devices that are on the list above provide great battery life, some better than others, but generally it's pretty respectable. Budget You probably know that different brands deliver different quality with their laptops, and if you stick with the big-name brands, you're sure to get a good laptop that'll get the job done. However, your budget will also be a significant factor while buying a new laptop. For that reason, try to find a balance between quality and price, but still, don't sacrifice on the specs and features you need. It's better to wait a while to get a better laptop than to buy the first laptop that you can afford.